Hello everyone and welcome back to the Academy League here in Gava Racing. It is round two. We are here in China for another weekend in the, well another race weekend, but it's actually Monday here in the Academy League in Gava Racing and I am joined once again by... Hello everybody, good to be back here in the Academy League. We've got Geek Fusion coming to the end of his outlap now. We've got a few drivers out on outlaps, only two or three left in the pits even. I just saw Geek Fusion's going out just to run you through our top 10 in the championship from round one in Bahrain. So Mr. Schumacher currently leads the way on 25 points. Rick Holt second with 19 points. Aston is in third. Those three had a really, really good battle last time out. Let's hopefully see them do that again this week. We've got Cass and Tangle in fourth, Threshold in fifth, official B2M is going to be in sixth, Speedy McSpeed in seventh, Ted MC24 with a remarkable recovery drive last time out. I'll be hoping to maybe lead from the front this time and join those top three. He's in eighth position in the championship at the moment. Geek Fusion coming out on his lap at the moment is in ninth and rounding out the top ten is JMB Surreal. Obviously, with only one round done, your top ten in the championship are just the top ten finishes from last week. But that's not going to deter Geek Fusion, I'm sure. He's on a 51 5 through the middle sector. Let's see what he can do come the end of the lap. And uh, yes, it's nice to see everyone back in the uh, Canary League once again. Still cannot, cannot, cannot get over the name Speedy McSpeed. It is a, is a great <laughs> one there out of all the drivers that I've commented on. But uh, quite a lot of drivers now coming towards the end of their laps. And what a battle we had last week, too, saying out in Bahrain between. The three drivers who are back again this week, we have Aston F1, Rick Holt and Mr. Schumacher and hopefully, once again, we'll be able to see a really good battle between all three of those drivers who have, I'm just trying to find out who's first to line. It is Geek Fusion, a 132-1 uh, for Geek Fusion there and uh, Tucson, where, where do you think we'll see the sort of the top drivers around what time around this track? Do you reckon they'll I be able to get to? I think we're going to be pushing 29s maybe, potentially potentially 28s if someone does an absolute madness, but got Mr. Schumacher, it says he's on the medium tyres, but on the softs I'm seeing up here, as Kreshold's now gone to the pole with a 1 minute 31.4, look Aston, oh, 1 Aston minute 30.9. First of the heavy hitters then, straight into the 1 minute 30s, no messing about there from Aston. And Mr. Schumacher's bailed out on his lap. Let's see what... Let's see what Rick Holt uh, does. Rick Holt Rick, is doing. Oh, no, he's invalidated, oh, he's invalidated his lap. It is, he has invalidated his lap. He will probably go again for another flying lap as he is on those mediums. So, able to get at least two flying laps in on those uh, slightly harder compound of tyre. Can go a lot longer into the race, as we all know. And uh, at the moment, still Aston F1. And a uh, few of the drivers oh. out on track as... Uh, Sammy as uh, oh, Ted. Go, Ted goes sick for 132.3 so that's already a very good lap time oh, already better than what he did out in Bahrain to say in terms of his uh, his position on the the grid here already and uh, managing to get a lap time in and uh, even though it's on the mediums he's just trying to get that bank a lap in it looks like yeah certainly it looks like that you heard me go ooh in the commentary there. He did have quite a big moment at the final corner. Managed to hold it together though and go up into seventh place. Your fastest medium side runner at the moment as he's just slowing down to let the other cars through there, I'm sure. But yeah, that's very promising from Ted. Hopefully a statement of intent for things to come. We're going to go into a bit of a lull here, it looks like, as well, as our driver's now not really improving oh, the lap. Here comes to actually sweep uh, JMB is just come around the hairpin at the end of the one kilometer straight. Here in China, as he comes around the final corner to put in a time, does it invalidate to the line? Let's see what he's able to do. He goes seven for 132.1, puts himself in seventh place. Then let's keep an eye on this man here, two cent. It's also just come around the hairpin at the end of the one kilometer straight. It is Rick Holt, one of the but oh no, he's come straight into the pits. I think that was an in lap tiger, P possibly. Yes. <laughs> As a uh, Sammy now on a 24.6 for the first sector. Uh, he's definitely on an in lap then, not going flat out through that corner. But yeah, it looks like we're going to head into a little bit of a lull here before the second and third runs out in, qu in qualifying for the Shanghai International might, Circuit. Might as, well do, might as well do a quick plug while we're here then. I mean, uh, if you haven't already, <laughs> go subscribe over to the Gamma Racing YouTube channel. We did. Today, just hit 990 subs. 
So we're 10 away from a thousand. So please, if you haven't already, go subscribe over there. We want to hit that thousand before the end of the year. It looks very, very possible now. And yeah, we'll have to see if that happens. Also, if you have Twitch Prime available, pop a sub over on our Twitch channel. You can follow us as well. So you know when we go uh, live and uh, we have a Discord server as well. It has all the information as well as our main website. And uh, we do have the social media as well. Twitter and Instagram where we post uh, regular updates on uh, standings and also uh, calendars. And uh, driver and constructor standings as well, hopefully. <laughs> if I can do them. Well, I think you've just got uh, one more thing to say here. What about this top ten moments, Tiger? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no, no, no comment. No comment. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, anyway, we've got Spaniel right now out on an out lap as well. We've got yellow set to see. It's the car going very slowly. Of Gregster gone off the track. Oh, there. keep an eye on Mr. Schumacher as he's just coming through the high speed S's just through sector two. Now he's coming towards that sort of that little back straight. As he comes up towards sector three, let's see what if he goes. Ooh, doesn't go fast as in sector two. But that's but a very competitive sector two time though, Tiger. Clocking in at 50.7 there so far around the lap for Schumacher. He's looking like he's going to put in a good time here as he comes around that long, uh, long right hander there as he'll come down he in one corner. Yeah, he's trying to get that slipstream there from the slow car as he's coming down now. The DRS open such a long straight here in China as he comes into that heavy braking zone. Lots of overtakes happen on this corner. As he's seen many, many times before, is Mr. Schumacher. He put up a good battle in last last week's race. Can he put up a good battle in quality and potentially Lovely not run. Aston F1 off of pole? He's, he's done. done it by his nine tenths. Nine tenths of a second for Mr. Schumacher. What a lap! He is in the one the thirty point zero, almost into the one twenty nines. And brilliant lap for Mr. Schumacher. And two cent, the battle's already happening already. We're not even in the race. Yes, yeah, certainly. Mr. Schumacher stamping his authority then at the top of the standings. Nearly a second ahead of Aston in second place. That is, that one's got to hurt if you're Aston F1, but he still has 8 minutes and 25 seconds to make up for it. In fact, he's about to try and do that now. Coming through the final corner, let's see what kind of run he gets. So onto keep... the main straight, doesn't have a date yet, coming under the massive infrastructure at the Chinese circuit, now down towards into turn one, keep it flat for the first bit here, swing it into the apex, just out a bit wide there, you see drivers taking different lines to this corner all the time, this corner goes on forever though, followed by another one that goes on forever, we've got yellows in sector one, I think it's just a slow moving car, those have cleared now, but through turn three and up the hill towards turn four, over this little crest, keep it to the right hand side, look at 100 meter board, break just up 100 meter board, it's a Tenth up on his best time, but remember, he needs nine tenths to knock Mr. Schumacher off that provisional pole position. Now, coming through the fast sweeping S's of turns seven and eight, swing it in flat out. These cars have got so much grip, Tiger. Definitely, these cars really, really grippy in this game, and especially just in general. All the F1 cars now, how they have moved on since they were back in the day, and they really are fast and they really do grip to the track really well. And as you were just oh. commentating over um, Aston F1's lap, don't forget about this man here who is coming around the final corner. It is Rick Holt, he is up to the line. Let's see what time he puts in. Oh, he goes oh. second. Just ahead of Aston F1, seven hundredths ahead of him. Let's see where Aston F1 can go now, Jason. He's coming he's down coming. the corner, back straight into the heavy and, braking zone. And he's got the braking zone spot on there. Clip the apex. Lovely stuff from Aston. He's going to run it to the line now. Up to this final king. Shift down to fifth gear. Swing it in. No invalidations. Oh, bit of oversteer mid corner. Run it to the line now. What's it going to be? It's a thirty point zero. Oh, it's eight hundredths between <laughs> both of them. And it's just not enough for Aston to take provisional pole here. That is... <laughs> this that championship is going to be amazing. These three just are pushing each other to the limit. Aston F1, 800 of a Mr. Schumacher, fine margins, but that only puts him in second. But then remember, there is 6 minutes and 15 seconds left to go in this session. And at the moment, it is Mr. Schumacher, Aston F1, followed by Rick Holt, the three... Battlers of last race, and then the rest yes, of the grid uh, there as well. Sammy, the only person not putting the time at the moment, but he is on a flying lap. Oh, he just lost it on the grass, and he hasn't yeah. clipped the wall, but he was 
on a flying lap there and he hadn't invalidated as well so it's really unfortunate for Sammy at the back there. Yeah, such an easy thing to do as well. All of the F1 games through that corner, it's so tricky to put the traction down coming out of that corner. But I'm going to have a look at Rick Holt here. He was, oh, I think he's bailing on that lap as well. But yeah, Aston must be. <laughs> well, he's taking the fight to Mr. Schumacher, certainly. Schumacher won't have this one easily ha handed to him. Aston's going to be trying to push him all the way, I'm sure. But yeah, these three, once again, showing they're the class of the field in the academy. But Kreshold isn't far off Rick Holt. That is a very good, lap, solid lap time from Kreshold, potentially challenging these top three oh, he's to the, as he's he's got 10 to the MC now on an outlap let's see what he can do Tiger remember he had a disappointing qualifying last time out in Bahrain on the soft tyres now should have the extra grip that he needs to challenge for pole position hopefully let's see if he can uh, Ted obviously he did have that really poor qualifying in uh, Bahrain but he will look, be looking for redemption here in China and uh, let's see whether he is able to do it there's a few cars coming down the back straight here, but I think they're just on out laps. The only man at the moment here to sink, I believe, is on a flying lap is Ted. So let's ride on board with him and see whether he's able to get a good lap in here. Yeah, it's been a solid first sector from Ted, 24.1. Not the fastest that we've seen, but still very solid. He's up on his personal best lap time. Keeps it flat for the left of turn seven into turn eight. Now down to fifth gear, down to fourth gear. Ted decides to go into there. Now down to third. This is another corner. Really tricky, this track. Very tricksy. This whole section of track can catch you out very, very easily. We're going to come down now and towards the final sector. He's seven tenths off on his personal best time track. This could be very good from Ted so far. Coming through turn four. Now, this must be one of my most hated corners on this game. You can see how hard it is to put the traction down. He's redlining the engine all the way through there. Up into 8th gear now. Relax. Gather your thoughts. But you can't wait for too long, though, because we're going to be coming down into the hairpin. Up this kilometre long back straight. Got the 100 metre board. Down into 2nd gear. Down into 1st gear for extra rotation for Ted. Rotation. <laughs> for Ted. He's going to come through the final corner now. Down to 4th gear, actually. That's unorthodox. Orthodox then, unorthodox gear usage from Ted to the line now to 31 3. So, putting himself up into seventh place, which is about where he finished last season, but he does still have time. Mm. Does he still have time for one more run? If he's quick getting back to the pits, maybe, or if he has enough fuel in that car, he could go for another one straight away. But we're gonna also, have to wait do, and see. also, do remember, two cent, this game does allow you, if you are on an outlap, it does actually allow you to complete a flying lap if you are on an outlap, which is something is very weird. But, you know, it's how the game simulates this. If the drivers can get out for an outlap, then should be able to put a time in before the end of the, uh, the, end of the qualifying session. But we'll just have to yeah. wait and see. Yeah, certainly. So just looking through the chat here, we've got X Cherry G. He said, uh, oh, uh, you got the wrong league, Cherry. I'm sure uh, Natty won't be too happy about that. You thought he was in the academy. But <laughs> oh, we've got JMB is off, though. JMB's had a spin. Down oh, he has, eight. yes. He has down at turn eight there, but uh, has uh, managed to uh, put the car back on the track. Now he's going to say he hasn't got in the way of anyone's lap from what I saw. Actually, keep an eye on uh, the, the man who's just come through that corner to say it is Rick Holt, who was on a flying lap at the moment on a fresh set of softs. And, He's nearly uh, two tenths up as well for the first set tag. This could be promising from Rick Holt. It could be a very, very good time oh, from Rick Holt. Is he, but he's had to shift down to fourth there, though, Tiger, to get the extra rotation into the corner. He didn't get the car to rotate on the front as much as he wanted. And that's compromising now. For the rest of this second set, it's going to damage his lap time. He won't Ooh, get another yeah, one. He's nine, nine tenths down. Nine tenths down. That really did affect him there coming through that corner. As there's a few other drivers just starting there. Oh, oh, Geek Fusion's just coming through that same section there, those high speed S's. So he's As coming Aston around. now starts his last flying lap, I don't think Schumacher's going to get around in time for a lap. He's going very slowly out of the pits there as well. And what's happened to Mr. Schumacher? Going very slowly out of the pit lane. Oh, he's picking up speed now, just letting the cars through it looked like. But I don't think he's going to get to the line in time, because it's about six seconds in hand. But that's if he ran to the same pace as his qualifying lap time, which you don't really do want know, to be doing it, on tyres when you start the race. Two cent, you do know that in this game, if you are on an outlap, it lets you go on a flying lap, even though the qualifying session's ended. Uh, yes, I'm just thinking about the tyre wear before the start. Ah, so yes, if he's pushing very, flat very out good. on this lap. He's going to have more tie wear than Aston. He might be starting on the second row behind him. Speaking of which, coming through the second sector now, here comes Aston. What can he do? Down to third gear. He's going to want a short shot. Oh, stays in fourth, actually. And has he backed out on the slap? No, he's still got it flat out through this part of the track. And he is three tenths up. 
So uh, forget what I was saying, but Aston clearly knows what he's doing and he is pushing flat out here in the final part. It could part, be a pole lap. 50 seconds to go. Oh, Ted's retired. I don't think Ted oh, can no. improve. I don't, I don't think he, he can improve. I think, the... Yeah, I think it's just a manual retirement. I don't think he could have improved on that time that he was on. So I think That's he's just Schumacher. retired the car as Aston F1 is coming down towards the hairpin at the bottom of the long straight. He's going to oh, hooks it up very nicely there. He's, he's going to get the the uh, exit now very well as he's going to come through go? the final corner doesn't Where's invalidate to the line drs open where will he go oh, he 29 pole. 8 29 pole he, 29 eight. sorry i said 29 pole there does he <laughs> beat mr schumacher by two tenths but, i don't think rick holds three but, tenths up rick holds three tenths up here two cents he's coming down the final back straight Will he be able to put in a time here? And Schumacher hasn't made it to the line. Schumacher hasn't made it to the line, Tiger. It's going to be Rick Holt now who can do anything to snatch second place oh, from Mr. Schumacher. Pushing back down onto the third row. 88% if you did say that Schumacher would take pole. Looks like 88% if he may have been wrong here. Rick Holt comes to the final pole. He's invalidated his oh, lap. He, he invalidated his lap. Uh, oh, Mr. No. Mr. Schumacher's still on a lap. He, he stops on the exit of the pit lane. Yeah, but he went across the start line, so he, ha he actually had that time to go for a lap. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he obviously chose to back out there because he was parked on the. Yeah, there you go. Just retired from the yeah. from the session, unfortunately for him. But so a Tangle out on a lap as well. Oh, but he's had a mini spin. Cresshold also on a lap two cent. He's gone two tenths up as he's coming through uh, the little curved section at the top of the straight as he's going to come round here in the green multiplayer car as he's going to come flying down the straight let's see where he will go as he was three tenths up just before here he's going to have drs open around about halfway down this long straight and he's going to break very heavily 100 meter board Ooh. down into the sharp head in a big lock, lock up there up. that might have affected his time a little bit as he's going to come now through the final corner. He doesn't want to spend too long on the curb on the outside as we just saw Rick Holt invalidate this lap because of it. Where will Cresson go? He go he proves, proves by a position, by a hundredth of a second. Goes ahead of Cresson Tangle. Oh, but we've also got official B2M now on the lap. Tiger coming out of the air. Oh, now he's got a little bit of oversteer. Large but can he, can he carry the speed to the line though? He's going to have official speed. Oh! How did he keep Big that? amount of oversteer as he but went he four thousandths quicker than his time. Big oversteer yeah. there, but I think that's everyone. I, no, no, it doesn't look like Swip JMB is going to be able to put in a fast time. So that is the grid two cent here for the Chinese Grand Prix here in the Academy. And it's Aston F1 on pole for this one. And what a battle we've got on our hands. We, I don't think I have seen a three-way battle in quite some time for a uh, for a league and uh, this one could be the one we're gonna get a three-way battle for the championship it's looking like it so far as these three have, have, have not put a foot wrong at the moment yes yeah, certainly as it looks like that um although in this it does say rip Holt was a second off schumacher in second don't forget oh. he did improve by nearly eight tenths on that final lap if he hadn't invalidated so that gap is a lot Damn. closer than you think ladies and gents it is and uh, just got someone in the chat here, Two Saint, just asking how we came up with the name Gavra. I think the only man who can answer that is Mr. Gavra Novig. It's Mr. Gavra Novig <laughs> himself, yes. If you want... Gavra, if you want to answer that question for us, that'd be, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, this is the... I think we have to wait until the time runs out because someone hasn't retired the car. Yeah, I believe it is. All right, there we go. Yeah. Uh... Have you timed out? I've still got one second. Yeah, that's him. It's 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 span it's spanel could um retire the car, then we should be able to continue. Yeah, or I think that's I what think you have to do. He's in the pits. So yeah, that, that's that. what happens. He needs to yeah. retire the car because he's in the pits because this game's broken. But uh, no, that's it's a really good qualifying there. There, there we go, go as we move on now. Is that uh, there is the grid for the race? So it's Aston F1 on pole, followed by Mr. Schumacher in second, Rick Holt in third, F1 Lover in fourth, Cresshold in fifth, Cassin Tangle in sixth, Greek Fusion in seventh, Ted MC in eighth. Uh, da is that Daniel or Danielle? Because there's an E Danielle. on the end. Danielle. I think that's Danielle. Danielle Guadenzi in ninth. 
Swip JMB in 10th. Uh, 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 I'm just going to go official in 11th. JMB <laughs> Surreal in tw uh, 12th. Uh, Spanel in 13th. Gregster in 14th. And Sammy at the, the back of the grid there, who could, didn't manage to put in a time. We'll start from the back of the grid in 15th place. And uh, just, just looking in the chat here as well. Uh, hello to Wolfie. It's on I see back in the chat. Uh, Spock 89, if you're going to qualify, but my man, that's flat, uh, <laughs> clearly a, a, definitely a Spanel fan, and to be wishing him uh, all the best luck he can, I'm sure, from watching the stream. Uh, Charles Leclerc, when does the GTS League start? Uh, October? 4th or 5th of October? The 2nd. Uh, Charles? 2nd of October. 2nd of October. October. <laughs> <laughs> we, are the, uh, we are in Brands Hatch. We are We're also talking about the. Uh, oh. GTS League, shall we talk about PCMR? I mean, we could do while we're waiting. I mean, that's, right, that's well, up to you if you want to disclose that now. We could disclose it in this week's right, episode well, of the podcast, which will, we will get online to you very, very soon once we have recorded it. <laughs> yeah, so in this week's uh, edition of the podcast, we'll be trying to speak to Black Country Mush, who is going to be making sort of Gabba Racing history, I suppose, having the first sponsor led team I think that we've ever seen here on Gabba. So, yeah. Which will be <laughs> certainly be interesting. It'll be the first person to ever be a title sponsor for a team called BCMR Racing. It will be taking place in the GT Sport League, and me and Tiger will be the drivers. <laughs> so, anyway, we're not here to talk about that now. We're here to talk about the Academy League and uh, what tyres has everyone gone on. I'm going to have a look. And I everyone's believe. gone to the softs, apart from JMB Surreal, uh, Brexit, yeah. and Sammy. Yeah. So they look like they're going the from. Uh, it looks like they'll probably be going for the medium, medium to soft strategy. We've seen that happen before in uh, different races and we've also seen it happen in China here as before in previous races as well but let me just give you some quick track stats so the length of this track is 5.5 uh, no 5.451 kilometers uh, it has 16 corners uh, the race distance I mean actually no we don't need the race distance do we <laughs> the, 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 lot, uh, the uh, lap record average speed is around 132 miles an hour, which 213 kilometers an hour, and uh, obviously that back straight, uh, all around about one kilometer long, so it does take up quite a lot of the uh, the track length here, and uh, does have, this track does have two DRS zones, one on the main straight. Uh, on the start finish straight sorry and one on the big back straight that starts around about halfway down which does allow for a lot of overtaking to Saint and hopefully we will see a lot of that and uh, it looks like the front three are really going to be going for it today again once yeah. again just like oh, in Bahrain. Oh, we've got on the grass. Oh, we've got let's say, if, I if, ever the front three, if ever the front three needed more of an invitation to go and fight each other, they've got a one kilometre back straight of a DRS end halfway down it, so you should be hopefully seeing those three go wheel to wheel once again. That was epic stuff to see, but Aston then, I believe, takes his first pole position of the year so far, then. is Mr. Schumacher landing up in second. Remember, Schumacher had a horrible start last time out in Bahrain, and we're hoping not to repeat that. The main yeah. reason why he fell from first to third, but he did mm -hmm. also and get that lap at the end of qualifying but let's now see if the drivers going to take their grid stop he needs to the not start. do he needs to not do a Valtteri Bottas and have quite a few bad starts in a row <laughs> hopefully you can hopefully you can you know redeem himself get a good start here potentially get the jump on Aston F1 into turn one let's see here actually he does have he does have the inside line so he could if he gets a good start he can definitely take advantage of it but remember after he comes around turns two and three he does get forced back to the outside again so he, he needs to get ahead of Aston F1 into turn one if he wants to try and go down the inside as the lights are going to count down here in the Academy League. Nice fire alarm. Sorry. <laughs> we have, had as they are, the we? lights are out and away they come. <laughs> the fire alarm the is fire still alarm going. going. Oh, it's a crash oh, straight away from the Tiger. Crash at the beginning it's sweet. Oh, it's a big crash, big crash. Swip JMB at the back. I think he hit also he hit the other JMB. JMB surreal. As you've got Castangle trying to make the move, potentially round the outside of Rick Holt. Couldn't get the pass done. Mr. Schumacher didn't take advantage of it. And Chris Holt and Ted now are going wheel to wheel. There was a big look battle. At oh, look at Castangle. Look at Castangle oh. coming to the outside of Rick Holt. It's going to make the move around the outside. Can you oh, make this work here? Uh, Dan, oh. Danielle Ganduzi there going for the move. As Castangle was looking for the move on Rick Holt. He's going to try and go down the inside. Now, Rick Holt 
Is he going to be able to get the pass done? No, he's going to try and maneuver around the outside line. Will have the inside line. Brilliant wheel to wheel racing oh, from these two. Bit of contact. Oh, Tangle. Cassin Tangle gets the move mean? done on Rick Holt. I'd say, I'd say it was powered by the fire alarm, if I'm honest with you, but uh, <laughs> managing to get the move done. Oh, but look done. at Rick Holt now Rick coming Holt. back at Cass and Tengel, but this isn't over. Ka Rick Holt wants us back. For his, the sake of his championship lead, he's going to be in the slipstream of Cass and Tengel in front. What can Rick Holt do here? Aston already weaving to bait the slipstream. Rick Holt's going to use up all of his overtake button here, trying to get past Cass and Tengel. He's gaining now. Cass and Tengel goes defensive. Ooh, Rick, Rick Holt's Holt comes go down the outside. outside. He's going to go around the outside. Will Surely. He get the pass done? Oh, he's been forced a little not. bit wide, but no, he just slot back in behind there too. Saint can't get the pass done yet. Remember, no DRS activated as of yet. And uh, we'll have to wait until the third lap before we'll start seeing a lot of overtakes down that main straight. But Rick Holt here might try and look for the overtake into turn one. Isn't close. Oh, Aston's oh, spun. Oh, Aston's, Aston's, spun. Aston's gone off. Oh, no. And he's going to drop right to the back of the field here, he has to wait. Yeah, he has to wait to rejoin the track safely. He's gone all the way to the back. And he's, he looks like, I think he just lost the rear coming into turn one. How he must unfortunate. Have the glass on entry. How unfortunate for Aston F1. He was looking for a potential uh, win here, here in China. And this has just allowed Mr. Schumacher. Oh, someone's gone off there. I believe it was official. He's sorting behind, but in behind uh, Daniel Galdenzi. As uh, at the moment, Ted is uh, Cresswold's dropped back a little bit there on the start as well. Let's have a look and see who's the biggest gain as uh, yeah, as we see Aston F1. Oh, he spun again, do you see? Has he? Yeah, he's, he's spun out oh, again. Oh, no. Really? things go from bad to worse here for Aston. Clearly a massive instability on higher fuel. Oh, Dan, Dan, Scheider, Dan Scheider in the chat questioning whether there was contact. I'm not sure, potentially. I don't know how close the gap was between Mr. Schumacher and Aston F1. But we'll have to potentially see there could be a, uh, you know, penalties will be awarded. The stewards do look at all the claims that are given. Uh, that all the drivers do make, but Rick Holt uh, being attacked once again from behind by Cass and Tengel. He managed to get back around in two seconds. We were in, in the mix of battle there with Aston F1 spinning around, but, yeah, uh, Rick, but Rick Holt, he's dropped back a little bit, so we might not see... Oh, no, he's put in the fastest time and, and fastest lap behind Mr. Car. Schumacher, and he's really yes. pushing now. As you've got a car very wide at the final corner, and I believe it was Spanel there in the background going very wide. But I'm looking at the battle for seventh place at the moment, Ty. We've got about four or five cars. We're going to have official B2M. Looking at Daniel Galdenzi for sixth. I'm sorry, battle for sixth, not seventh. He's going to come out of the corner now. I'm looking at official B2M's on board. He's probably too far back to try something from here. But Ted might is a little bit closer. He's late from the brakes. But who's that one? There's Cresthold down oh, the inside. Into what turn a move six. by Cresthold. Brilliant. Well done. Gregster got the move done there on Spanel. Someone in the chat said such great commentators, but quite T British. No offense. <laughs> Thanks for that, I guess. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off guard, both English. So. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, will, he wants some more exotic commentators. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Daniel Gardenzi uh, being uh, attacked a little bit from official uh, B2M there as uh, Cresshold and Ted really close behind here. Gregster but close behind them. Spanel close behind them. And two said, we're going to have DRS now, I believe. Yes, it will. Yeah, we do at, have the DRS. Look at how close all of these drivers are. This could get potentially massive now down to the braking zone at the hairpin. Cresthold. Look at Presley, he's been late on the brakes. He's Ooh. late again, but he can't close. make a move this time by. Not close enough to make that move. He was quite far back when he came into that braking zone. Not able to get around official uh, B2M there, but he might look for the move. He'll have DRS down the main straight. Could have looked for it into turn one. Gets a little bit of a, a poor exit. Does drop back a little bit, but remember, he has that DRS. So does Ted behind him, and so does Gregster behind him. So we've got a nice train of cars here to send that might try and overtake and defend from each other yes certainly don't forget guys the uh, dirty air factor has been upped on this game it certainly feels like for the drivers they will be feeling that as well their front tires will be starting to overheat they're going to lose grip on the front end of the car and let's see how much that affects proceedings yeah, the, today the dirty area is really effective we saw it out in austria in the weekend league uh, but it was prime prince who was running really low wings, just managing to speed away on the straights, because just because of the dirt, amount of dirty air that was happening behind the cars. So it will be a factor in, in, in the overtaking, and it is a factor in most of the tracks. 
It's going to be interesting to see when we go to the Spanish Grand Prix. I mean, the dirty air is really bad on that track. So, have to see how, if ever the drivers oh. will be able to make overtakes there. As, uh, as, 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 sorry, Captain Chen got a little bit of a sideways moment there coming into turn 13. But Rick Holt now, he's trying to close the gap up on Mr. Schumacher, but not really being keep, able to do it. It's a stable at about keep 1. An eye on this train, Keep an eye on this train of drivers. The closest driver at the moment in this train is Ted who is gain, trying to gain on Kressel, but Kressel's just got the DRS ahead of him. So it's just not allowing oh, Ted to get the move. Oh, look at that, that's Daniel Galdenzi's going wide though, and here comes official, oh, gets a little okay, bit of a tank lost slapper. the rear there as well, as Daniel da Galdenzi did run wide, and there's a few people coming into the pits early oh, here, to say. That's Ted in. But everyone's coming, the lead is coming, Mr. Schumacher's in. And this will be for the medium, surely. Yeah, it is. Everyone onto oh, the medium compound of tyres. So, I mean, there's only a one stop, only a 25% race here in the academy. Mr. Schumacher, it, our leader, has come in. Look how close look Rick how much, Holt is behind him. I was about to say, Schumacher got held in the pit lane there, and Rick Holt nearly got past him. So, battle for the lead, very well and truly on then. Here comes Rick Holt. He's right behind Schumacher now. Six tenths of a second now. That was about 1.6, 1.5 when they came into the pit lane. Schumacher's going to have to start to defend here. And what can Aston do now? He's right in front of these two. Will he concede the position? I'm sure he'll fire what, as hard what, as he what can. What those pit stops has done to say is that long train of DRS that we had has been broken up now. So we're going to start to see a lot of drivers trying to make the overtakes on each other. As a, a, a lot of people came in, as Aston F1's moved up to fourth, but he obviously hasn't come in as of yet. Uh, he'll be hoping for a, uh, for a safety car. I think that's what he'll be hoping for, to potentially save his race. Get him back up yes, amongst certainly. the battle at the top. But at, at the moment, if you look, oh, it's Kressold almost lost it on the curb, trying to gain down an official B2M as he's got the DRS. Official hasn't got the DRS. It, will Kressold be able to get close enough? No, he just isn't close enough there into the breaking zone. Oh, oh he both locks of, up the front right though for Kressold. Both of them are locked up, and it's actually the, at, the gap's look. really closed down now. Look at Aston and Schumacher there now. Schumacher going around the outside of his championship rival, and well, we've Ooh, seen big, these three battle on track, but it's not quite the position. Up, but though. Schumacher does miss the uh, miss the apex there. Yeah, big, That's big hold lock up, up from Mr. Holt Schumacher. Well. Oh, it's Aston F1. He almost went into the back of him there, coming into the pit. But Aston F1 does pit. So does Crest Hold the official B2 B2 Rick Holt, three second time penalty. Oh, that could really impact. The end of this race for Rick Holt trying to get Paul. Yes, oh, virtual, virtual, safety, virtual car. safety car. Who's off? JMB Surreal is out. He's crashed on the straight. Maybe he lost that, it on the exit of. What's that? Turn 13, is it? Turn 14 down 14, the back straight. 14, yeah. Down the back straight, even, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that. Could this have potentially played beautifully into the hands of Gregster? Currently out in first place. If this virtual safety car stays out for long enough for him to come back in the pits, it could be Gregson in the race here. I quite think he might be a bit. Oh, he is very far ahead though, but I think it might come in before he gets around to the pit lane. This virtual safety car in this game isn't usually that long um, mm. in, in its time staying out. But a bit unfortunate though for Aston F1. He pit just before that virtual safety car came out to Zen, and that really would have benefited him to get him back up into the, that top spot there. Uh, would have been definitely off again. I say Rick Holt now is going to have DRS on Mick Schu Mr. Schu <laughs> he said Mick Schumacher, Mr. Schumacher in front. I they're going to come through turn 14 now, the very tricky acceleration zone down the back straight over kilometers how, along now. Look, what look can Rick close, Holt do? Also, look how close Ted is behind Spanel here. He's within four tenths, and Ted will have that DRS going into this straight here. He might be able to look for the move on uh, the car in front. Is he's gonna have the DRS halfway down this straight? I don't think Rick Holt's gonna be able to get past Mr. Schumacher up front. Ted, he's gaining, he's gaining with the DRS. He might look for a late move here. Oh, he went for it, but in the end, he just backed off. Didn't want to risk it. Uh, didn't want to risk a late break there down into turn 15. Yeah, that's fair enough. Very intelligent driving from Ted there, knowing that it's not worth going for that move, potentially breaking off a part of your front wing. Oh, move get back up to the point. barrel up front. These two just got about six tenths between each other. That gap's moved out a little bit though, as uh, these two, Rick Holt and Mr. Schumacher, battling it out here. Fortunately, they don't have Aston F1 to join them in that battle, but we're going to have a battle from these two for the top spot, where McGregor does still have to pit. And he is very far ahead at the moment. 11 seconds. 
So let's have a look and see where that would put him if he was to pit. I think he would come out just ahead of official B2M, I believe, to Saint, by looking at the timings. It's tricky, or, but I, I think I, he would in come between, in, in, yeah. probably in between that gap of official B2M and Daniel Gaudenzi. But it's still probably higher up than he was before the pit window. But the longer he stays out, the tiger, the less than the less that gap is. You can oh. see there, it's just dropping out to twenty. He's probably going to come up behind Daniel at this point, but will be on those soft tires. Keep an eye on Ted once again. He's getting very close. Oh, look at the battle up front. Rick Holtz gaining and gaining on the straight. Still not close enough to get the move done. Look how close to Sen. Keep go. Avert your eyes back down to Ted MC. He's within reaching distance now of oh, this he overtake. He's got the now. DRS. Spanel, is he going to go defensive on the inside? Oh. Doesn't go for it. Ted getting it done. Oh, runs a little bit wide. That might allow Spanel to get the switch back. Look They're going to go wheel to wheel. Hole. Look at Rick Holt, Rick Holt's going to go for oh, the lead, Holt. into turn one, it's side by side, Will Vuitton oh, sees these two, and he, oh, Mr. Schumacher pushes Rick Holt onto the kerb, and he slots back in behind his cha championship rival, it's not over yet, down in towards turn five now, Rick Holt on the outside, Schumacher, beautiful defending there, Schumacher keeps that second place, which could turn out to be the net race lead. Definitely a brilliant battle there between these two, and this is for the net race lead because uh, Gregster does still have to pit. But Rick Holt getting it down the inside of turn one, and as I said before, when you go down the inside of turn one, you get forced to the outside of turn three because of the way that the track switches back, and that actually came into the favour of Mr. Schumacher. But look at Ted, he's all up the back of Spanel. Just can't get the move done at the moment, and this has actually allowed Cresshold to now get into a three-way battle here, two cent. And we're going to see defending and attacking from both Ted and uh, and Spanel here. But I'm looking at Rick Holt. Though. Rick Holt's going to be close. Let's have a move here. Schumacher's gone defensive. Here comes Ricks, and then look down in towards the hairpin. Oh, he's oh, gone right oh, now. He's he goes him. into the back he's of hit him. him. He's done a Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel. Turn 15, he's gone all the way into the into the back of him. Well, that should be spun no round, but it's similar. No damage between <laughs> the two of them. Oh, Cresshold, gonna try and look for the move. Ted, it's gonna go three wide, almost into the corner. Cresshold runs Ted deep. Gets Ted gets the move done as Cresshold and Spanel both ran deep. And Ted, double, uh, I would sorry, it wasn't double over. He got the move done on Spanel, but Cresshold almost getting the move done on both of them. Yeah, just not quite coming off there for Cressold. He's dropped a position now behind Spanel. Ambition over adhesion, it looks like there. Oh, so he's trying to go round it. He might get it round the outside here, two cent of Spanel. He might try and launch it down the inside. Just isn't close enough to stick a wing in that gap there to try and warrant some space. But, uh, stays in 11th place. This is the battle for the bottom of the points here. And Rick Holt, after that, two cent has dropped back a little bit. Has he got wing damage? He doesn't have wing damage, Hager, but he lost so much momentum coming off the head and that he's now dropped to about 1.4 seconds behind. I'm he won't have that has some damage. either to keep up. No, definitely not. He might have some more damage that we can't necessarily see from the commentary box here, but Rick Holt now does seem to... That, that not seems to damage his pace a little bit. He's going to try his best, I'm sure, to close onto the back of Mr. Schumacher, but I think that's just giving Schumacher what he needs now to go on and dominate proceedings here. Mr. Yeah, and uh, Mr. Schumacher looking for a win here in China. He is looking very, very strong at the moment in front. Gregster's in. Gregster in. Gregster now into the pits out for Mr. Schumacher and Lee, but a very rise down the uh, Danielle uh, Guaudenzi. He's just oh. going to try and just maneuver it around the outside. Can't get the pass done. And then see where Gregster to falls to back. To oh, they're going to. Oh, he gets the move back. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant race in there from them two. Let's see where Gregster comes out because we did see. Oh, oh. Gaudenzi, a very late move to the inside. That could have been a horrible crash, but that's not going to deter official B2M from getting back up into fifth place. Oh, it's Gregster just came out in front of F1 Lover, so it's a, not much traffic there for him. But now Gregster will really be on the push here, Toussaint. He's on that fresh set of softs, and we know how quick they are initially. 
once you put those fresh set on and he's really really going to be pushing now for the cars in front try and work his way back up the field and he is within drs range of the car in front who's also with dr within drs range of the car in front it's aston f1 getting the move done on spanel at the back up into 11th aston f1 looking to salvage some some points there and uh once again people in the chat saying another great race here in, in the academy league and it is definitely these academy guys showing us that they can't have clean racing and oh, uh, they are putting on a shot inside of daniel god daisy not messing around at all breaks are up into sick he has to make these moves quickly tiger sorry to cut you off i'm talking about the chat but Greg is on the prowl here he's four tenths behind the official b2m he could make up two positions in the space of about three corners he has the drs has the overtake has the slipstream drs open now it's going to be a futile defense from b2m because Greg's going to switch it to the inside what a lovely read there by Greg's soul the official the dummy but into fifth place, can he get Geek Fusion? Three seconds to gap, three laps to go. Yeah, three laps to go in this race. Let's see who will come out. Greg, see, he's got, got that three second gap, as he said, to Geek Fusion. I don't think he's going to be able to close down the gap, but he has got to do around about four, sec four to five seconds throughout this race uh, to get up into the podium position. It could be possible if he puts in enough pace on these fresh set of softs could not cast entangle off of the the uh, the podium i'm not sure how it is on penalties i haven't been seeing many penalties come up for these drivers as uh, ooh, look at rick holt he's got that gap down to almost uh, within a second now to mr but, uh, schumacher our own private detective in the chat dan schneider can confirm that rick holt has an orange slash yellow front wing so rick holt is running with damage and it's going to take a mistake from mr schumacher it would look like to seal the deal for rick holt but that being said as you just said tiger rick holt starting to close that gap now we've got about three laps to go here can he still make an impact on this race for the lead let's see if he can he is 1.4 seconds now behind mr schumacher unfortunately he won't have that drs he does have to be within a second of that but, but F1, look at Gregster. F F1 Lover might be looking for a move on Daniel Ganduzi, but as he said, Gregster, he is flying at the moment on those fresh set of softs. He got that two second gap down a Geek Fusion down instantly. He might be on for a podium here too, saying if he can get these moves done and get these gaps down. If Gregster gets this move done quickly, I don't see why you can't get after Cass and Tengel. And secondly, this race is not over yet in terms of action. That gap out in front has gone back up to 1.5 seconds, though. I think Rick Holt trying to nurse that damage to the end. Do some damage oh, that was very wide from lead. Geek Fusion. He got a three-second time penalty. Gregster, Gregster fast put in the of the race. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a little bit on the grass there. He almost lost the car as he went a little bit on the grass onto the entry. He's managed to hook the car up though really nicely through turns one, two and three as he's going to come round now and deal look up. at the drive he's got off that corner now down to turn six surely Gregs is going to go for this on the overtake button Keith Fusion hasn't gone defensive here comes Gregs to down the inside with a Daniel Ricciardo style dive bomb off into fourth place to the 2.4 seconds behind Cass and Tengel Gregs could be on for a podium here what if a drive if Gregs gets a podium here he definitely deserves driver of the day what a race from him it's remember to say he's moved up 10 positions he's that the, the Gregster started in 14th and he is all the way now up in fourth. That strategy really helping him out there, going from the medium to the soft. That gap is all under two seconds. This could be a podium for Gregster. I'm not sure. Could you don't know if you'd mind checking on the penalties for him and I'll see if he that. has any see if he has any penalties. Check what penalties Cass and Tangle has as well. Gregson needs to keep it clean here and consistent. He doesn't want to pick up any stupid penalties that will cost him at the end of this race. That gap now, two seconds, he's got to get that down more in these final two, two laps of this race. That gap's so still two seconds and he's going to be making up a lot of the time here through the corners two cent, I imagine, with these fresh set of softs that he's on right now. Exactly. So, oh, Greg, oh, no, just picks that's up a three a, second time penalty. As I was about to come on to the penalty, that would be a second three second time penalty. So he has to overtake Casatangle and then build up a six second gap. If he can do it, that would be some feat. But he's going to have to really push on here. But that inverse strategy, absolutely working one. This has been very intelligent there. Very intelligent driving to go for that conscious strategy to everyone else. Starting on the mediums, went to the softs, definitely working for him so far. Yeah, if he can get to try and get the move done on this lap, he's got that gap down to 1.1 two cent. If he can get the move done on this lap, he's got a lap to open up a three second gap. See if he can potentially even force Cass and Tengel to go wide on a corner, pick up a time penalty of his own maybe. 
Potential, but the weird thing I saw about casting Tangles lap times is he has three warnings. Only that amounts to a penalty, but nothing coming up in the race director there I saw for him. So, very strange there from Casting Tangle, perhaps not having a penalty just yet, but he is on the verge of picking up a three second time penalty, which should make Gregson's job a lot easier. He's going to have the DRS here down the back straight. F1 Lover also is all over the back of the car in front of him, being Daniel Ganduz. We're going to look at the front here, the battle for third. Here comes Gregson. This should be a formality, really. He's going to have the Overtake by oh, the Cass and Tangles, Cass and gone, Tangles defensive. gone defensive. He's <laughs> in unison there. Gregson <laughs> might be a little bit too far back here. Who's going to go Cass very late? Cass and Tangle maybe. got a really bad. He's got a really bad line there because he was forced narrow because of the defensive move. F1 Love again in the past done on G Daniel. Daniel. Oh, Daniel get, get oh. Gaudenzi looking for look, the move look back. Look at Greg still. He's going to try to run the outside. He's going to try and switch to the inside. Pulls into the slipstream. Greg uh, Cass and Tangle goes defensive. Here comes Greg around the outside into turn oh, one. Cass and Tangle still there. There is contact. No damage done, it looks like so far. Oh, Gregster. Gregster wants this position so badly on track. He wants to beat Kassengel on track. It's the last half of the race now. It's his final chance to try and pull out that gap that he needs. Oh, Gregster might go, go for the move. He might move. try it down for the inside. Can't get the pass just done like he did just back. before. Just like to say thank you for oh, 44 had a people. Bad exit. Just had to say thank you to 44 people for joining us at the moment in this race. It's been an absolute belter. And at the moment, oh, Gregstone almost got on the grass there and lost it. He ran very, very wide there through that set of S's. And he's gained that time back up as Cass and Dangle running quite slow. As Gregster would be looking for the move on this main straight here, two cents, surely. Definitely, he must be, must be, surely. As Greg Cass oh, and Running wide, this this will allow Gregster to get the move done as Cassentengel is going to pull away a little bit now as he will have that cleaner air in front of him. But Gregster, he's got the ERS, he's putting everything into that car, he's got no ERS left, he's got to rely on the drag reduction system at the back of the car. And he's going to try and look for the move, oh, Cassentengel goes defensive, Gregster round the outside, will he be able to get the pass done? But Mr. Schumacher, Mr. Schumacher comes across, across the line, the line and to win. win. Gregson got the move done, but he's got a bell. Oh, but still, wheel to wheel. Oh, he's pushed him wide. Cassin Tangle got the three second time penalty, but Cassin Tangle oh. gets the podium. It's Geek what? Fusion actually got the head of it there. Cassin Tangle gets the podium. It's Geek Fusion actually got ahead of Gregster in the end. It's official came in sixth. Daniel Gaudenzi came seventh. Aston F1 in the end got eighth, so managed to salvage some points after his spin. F1 Lover in 9th, Cressold in 10th, 10th came down in 11th, Spanel in 12th, Sammy will come across the line in 13th, and Swift JMD will come across the line in 14th. But what wow. a battle between those two! Wow! <laughs> Once again, Academy Series just definitely does not fail to disappoint. Gregster there, trying everything that he could to get past Kassentengel. Kassentengel not giving any quarter there whatsoever <laughs> to, to Gregster. But I think Gregster could get drive of the day in the uh, people's overdrive of the day then. Uh, what a drive that was. The conscious strategy up nine positions then from where he started. But don't let that take away from Mr. Schumacher. He was going to be your victor today. Mr. Schumacher, brilliant performance from him. He had to do a little bit of defending, though. Oh, even the game gave Gregs the driver of the day. Definitely, <laughs> the game knows. The game knows. It, it definitely does deserve it. And uh, yeah, and uh, Mr. Schumacher, brilliant win from him. Wins here in China. What a what a what a championship battle we've got on our hands here, Tuesday in the academy. But uh, had to do a little bit of defending from Rick Holt, and after Rick Holt got that penalty from that late lunge on Mr. Schumacher went into the back of him that gave Mr. Schumacher the edge there at the end to win the race here in China in round two in the academy I'd just like to say actually we, we've, had, we've got 42 people still watching us so thank you to everyone who's joined Insane. us there is the final grid at the end Greg Stratch had six seconds worth of time penalties yeah, that's so, the second one that he picked up at the end there, Tiger, on the final, on the nearly the if, final lap even. If, if he hadn't have got that three sec, that other three second time penalty, he would have been on the podium. Yeah, he would have been on the podium. But that would have that does get, from he, would have been he, for the podium. He does get a point for fastest lap though, as he did finish inside the top ten, got that fastest lap. <laughs> And he will walk away with that extra point for the drivers and oh no constructors championship sorry for the <laughs> drivers championship but uh, what a race we had there in the academy and uh, yeah another great one here and uh, yeah thank you to everyone for joining us 
here in the Academy League. And once again, if you haven't already, go subscribe over to the Gabba Racing YouTube channel. 990 subs. Hoping and we, by the end of this week or the start of next week, we get to that 1,000 sub mark. And we've got a couple of little special things, haven't we? We've got planned to say potentially. We do have a couple of special things that we won't The 1,000 mark. Months. But we will we not be telling you what they are yet. No, we won't <laughs> share those yet. Thank you to everyone in the chat. We've still got 42 people watching us. So thank you to everyone in the chat here for being here for the Academy League. Uh, thank you to Gavra for, uh, you know, keeping the stream all running and uh, doing all the polls. Thank you to also to Gavra for making, doing all this league stuff for us. And, you know, it's a blast. We really enjoy it up here in the commentary box. And all the drivers enjoy it as well. And his admin team help him out a hell of a ton as well. Because that man definitely cannot do it on his own. And, uh, yeah, we will see you all next week when we are in... Is it the Dutch the Grand Prix? Netherlands. Yeah, it is. Netherlands, yes. so, this, uh, so, it will be the first ever Dutch Grand Prix in the Academy League. It will be the first ever Dutch Grand Prix in all the leagues, actually. So, make sure you join us then. Make sure you join tomorrow where it will be me and Natty this time. Two Saint has uh, run off somewhere for tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, it will be uh, me and Natty for tomorrow in the Freshman League. Uh, same time, same place. Uh, same different, track. Same track, yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you'll join me and Natty then for the Freshman League. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, also pop a Twitch Prime sub on our Twitch channel. We're trying to uh, grow over here on Twitch as well as the as the YouTube. But uh, thank you, Two Saint, for joining me yeah. as always. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to be here. Definitely. You you, Tiger. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, yeah, we will see everyone next week.